In this video, I want to answer the question, what is a net promoter score? And how can we calculate it in project management? The net promoter score is a metric to measure stakeholders' responses to something. It's widely used in market research to measure customers' perceptions of products and services. It's also been adapted to measure employee satisfaction and employee engagement. And of course, project managers can adapt the idea to measure stakeholder perceptions too. The Net Promoter Score was developed in 2003 by Fred Reichelt, a partner at Bain & Company. Now, Bain owns Net Promoter Score, which is a rich and sophisticated toolset. The Net Promoter System website has a lot of valuable information, and I will link to it in the description. So, how did it find its way into project management? The Project Management Institute included reference to the Net Promoter Score in the seventh edition of its project management body of knowledge, the PMBOK Guide. It included it in the performance measurement domain. The authors suggest it as a tool to measure stakeholder satisfaction, although they don't discuss how to use it. Whilst the Net Promoter System has a distinct methodology, it is also a protected intellectual property. So, rather than adopt the NPS in its entirety, I suggest project managers do one of the things that we do best. We borrow the idea and we adapt it to our own particular needs. So, what follows is not a formal definition of how to calculate a net promoter score. Rather, it is a suggestion for how to calculate stakeholder satisfaction based on the ideas in the net promoter system. In turn, I invite you to adapt this to the needs of your projects and to your personal preferences. I'll describe the basic process in three steps. Step one is about measuring individual stakeholder satisfaction. Calculating stakeholder satisfaction starts by asking each individual stakeholder to rate their own satisfaction. And I suggest you do it on a scale of zero to 10. And yes, I do suggest you start at zero rather than one because that's the honest way to do it your stakeholder may have precisely zero satisfaction. It also means that there is a precise midpoint, five. You can ask each stakeholder a number of questions and score each of them on the same basis. To aggregate the scores, you can, of course, simply calculate the averages. That'll give you a number in the range zero to 10, which will represent the total stakeholder satisfaction around the subject of that one question. You can also do this for subsets of your wider stakeholder group, individual groupings of stakeholders, to find out who among your stakeholder groups are your supporters and your opponents. And that is step two, to find out who are your supporters and who are your opponents. The second step of the Net Promoter System is to label different parts of the range from zero to 10 to represent your supporters or promoters, your opponents or detractors, and neutrals or passives. The second terms that I gave you are the ones that the net promoter system uses, and it applies the following ranges. Scores of zero to six represent detractors, or what I'm calling opponents. These are the people who don't like what you've asked them about, and they're unhappy with your project. Scores of seven or eight are the passives, or what I'm calling neutrals. These people are broadly content, but not yet particularly enthusiastic. They have no big issues, but neither are they celebrating yet. Scores of 9 and 10 represent promoters, or what I'm calling your supporters. 
These people are enthusiastic and they are likely to be prepared to act as active proponents of your project. The third step of the net promoter system is to calculate a net promoter score. We calculate this by starting with the percentage of respondents who are promoters with scores 9 to 10 and subtracting the percentage of respondents who are detractors with scores from 0 to 6. We then multiply by 100 to get an answer in the range minus 100 to plus 100. Minus 100 represents all of your respondents being detractors. Plus 100 represents all of your respondents being supporters. The net promoter system methodology gives us this calculation as its distinctive contribution. And this score perhaps represents a better aggregate of the feelings of all of your respondents than a simple average. However, like all tools, as project managers, we need to look at it critically and decide whether it is right for our project. And if it's not quite right, we need to think carefully about what we're trying to achieve and adapt it to our purpose. Please give this video a like if you've enjoyed it or learned from it. I'll be making loads more great project management videos for you. So please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any of them. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.